Paso Electric has been working on a new small solar farm and it hopes its customers will eventually subscribe. Now we have video of what the solar facility would look like. The utility has asked regulators to approve a new community solar program they say can potentially save customers money on their bills in the long run. This solar garden is going to be built in Far East El Paso, but anyone within the territory can take part. And joining us now is Eddie Gutierrez, the spokesman for El Paso Electric. Welcome. Oh, thank you. Talk about this concept. Talk about this farm. Sure. You know, community solar, the, way, the best way to think about it is it's the middle ground between utility scale solar, so football fields of solar, okay. versus perhaps having them on your roof. Okay. And community solar is really for customers that perhaps don't want to deal with the maintenance, either for financial restraints, can have it on their roof. Roof, but really it's subscription based so think of it like a gym membership but perhaps without the penalties okay. and the longer you're in the program the more likely you're able to save on your bill in the long run a portion of your bill would be fixed because you're buying the price of electricity now and we don't know what the electricity price will be in 10 15 years and so this is a good way for yeah. folks to kind of think ahead uh, it's That's also cool. it's also a great program for folks that are interested in the environment mm -hmm. so for someone that wants to be more green and wants to really have a value in, in protecting the environment mm -hmm. being proud of our community in this community solar garden it's just the beginning all right so talk about subscribing and then how much this would cost what do you mean by subscribe they wouldn't get a panel on their house would they they no, would so there's no in. equipments in their home this is this is a independent uh, community solar farm perhaps near a neighborhood in this case it's in far east El Paso but if the pilot program is approved we'll likely have it in very visible areas around the community mm -hmm. um, the pricing is still, uh, we're still working it out with the commission, but we believe that the pricing model is that perhaps you pay a little more in electricity up front, but in the long run, because it's fixed, a portion of that bill that you decide to subscribe uh, would be fixed over the long run. And, and that's pretty cool because rates could change, uh, costs could increase, but that price that you sign up for 2015, 2016 will stay the same. Yeah, correct. A portion of your bill would be fixed over the duration of the, that you're in this program. And you say this is a great program for people who maybe don't have the money for their own panel or you know can't can't get it um are panels expensive? Is it tough for people to get panels? You know, one of the things that we see nationwide is that not people have the right kind of roof or they don't have oh. a roof at all because they live in an apartment. Yeah. So community solar is really a way to address for customers to have another option. Again, it's a voluntary program and if it's approved, construction would begin um, in 2016. All right, so let's talk about solar energy because it is more expensive. What do we use now? We use, what, natural gas for electricity and uh, coal. Uh, why is solar beneficial? Why is it better? Why would you want to pay more for solar? Okay. Well, one of the things now, uh, at least on a utility scale, the price has become more competitive. So right now we have a huge facility out in Northeast El Paso and our service territory in New Mexico. But the price and, and the type of technology has matured. Mm -hmm. um, but for folks that want to have a direct connection to solar in the long run, this is really the technology that we're moving forward to. Um, and, and again, it's not for everyone. You know, we, we ask folks and viewers to really look at everyone's options. But community solar is really for folks that perhaps don't want to deal with the maintenance. Mm -hmm. And at the end, still want to feel green and the protection in the environment and how, how be proud in our communities that we have this program available you can yeah. say you, you can put a lawn, lawn sign and say that 20 percent of my bill came from that community solar garden I'm proud that I'm doing my part yeah and in El Paso we have a lot of Sun <laughs> so how can people get involved what if they're interested in this what do they do uh, you know, stay tuned because I think either through social media or our websites will keep informed but the minute the program is approved with our approval of our regulators we will get this rolled out all right very cool thanks for joining us yeah, I appreciate you. it very interesting thank you all right